So I just saw this clip to a second of second face. Please listen to this. For the for her honor, the vice president question time in parliament. But whenever she will come, when she wherever she will come back, <laughs> if it will mean 20 years, if it will mean next week, I want her to, to talk about this issue. And this is the only issue that I'm keeping for her. She must confirm that they didn't promise. If they didn't promise, then they lied. There are only two things. I promised him, and this is what I've promised. Or I have lied to him. So this statement is loaded, and I'm waiting for your honor, the vice president. I'm sure you can hear me, you can see me, you can hear what I'm saying. Your honor, the vice president, I want you to confirm that you as UPND never promised that there's anything. And if you didn't, then all what you said, you were just lying. So I just want that, that confirmation. Once they confirm that, then we shall go into the nitty gritty of what we must deal with. If it's not them who said minimum be at 50 kwacha, if you will be at 13 kwacha, if it's not them who said all sorts of those things, then I don't know. So to a submission of our vice president, to a submission of our vice president, next week, next Friday, on the floor of the house. I thank you, colleagues. Thank you for coming. So at the, they never promised anything. So we should put two via one two nangushan. You know, if you had to get rid PF in 2021, PF. It was Kadarism. And one thing that each other did about UPND, it is things like this. You remember when uh, PF, you know, there was too much Kadarism. I want to go about it and the on for PF. And the other thing is that I want to go about it. And your bread night dura. What was the response from PF? But PF was to a shiny. I think breading I do the Kuria Kandor. The, the, the vice president, Roma Muriwa, UPND, she, has, she said something similar. I want to learn that you are going to have to do it. 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 You are going breakfast. You are going to have to do it. You are going to have to do it. You are going to have to do it. Now, back to the idea that you have never promised anything. Out of your summer government, you have to vote for Zambia. You are going to have to do it. You are going to be a good chuva, to is a good one, one hour, to is a good one, Arabi, to is a good one, Sata, to is a good one, ICO. But once our president in a room letter, pa, watch the promise, son, and if you have to promise by HH. Now the Roma vice president, basically, me, Valandati, we never promised. Who to be a one to Nangushan? In a, I am non partisan, but if you feel more, feel like a good one, we just need to be honest. If Baba VP or Vice President Valerandaya, instead of if instead, in fact, they even need to apologize to the people because if in Tofu, if in Tofu Valerandaya, when it comes to like economically, for Valerandaya, they are not adding up. For Valerandaya, Nefilets can have, so they are two different things. In fact, in the Vice H time per media, they need to tell the people the truth, if you flip ground, what they are going to do. And like, saying, bringing out statements like this. The other time it was the Minister of Information. Instead, the base base the economic situation in the country, number measures were taken and all that. Why is some grand punch? Why some grand punch opposition? And also, uh, some people are, uh, were saying that Dora na ipona ko tamuliranda po muliranda finger ya kuir. Well, the thing is that uh, whatever the government have done is just a temporary measure. You know, what they have injected is this $215 million. Yeah. You know, so this is a temporary measure. We are going to see dollar gain in our But VP already mentioned that we, 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 should, we increase to to decrease. So, and again, what is the increase? What is the case that decrease? That is, that is one thing. Anyway, but basically, uh, his statement you know, by the VP. Mm -mm. So anyway, we, she, she said that she even made it clear that she she's very much ready for Costa Mwanza. Uh, so we we are waiting for the Sunday interview and see what she's going to say, because to our VP Vesu, most of the times she she's unable to answer uh, straightforward you know questions like Mupadiamenta. Even she at that time a clip of uh, when um, an MP asked her about the G20, you know framework and all that and she had no clue on what is happening on debt restructuring so i i, I just I, i'm just eager to hear what she's gonna say 
during that um, interview because we know Costa Mwanza is very tough when it comes to asking questions. I'm looking forward to that. But DNA response by VP, she has to be very careful. In fact, like I said before, the UPND government needs even to start apologizing for some of the things that you know they promised the people. Because Wunga Marandi at 50 kwacha, even deep down in my heart, I knew that Wunga did wear 50 kwacha, but I expected that, okay, the Mibuka up to, you know, yeah, up to, you know, a reasonable amount, but still. Anyway, so let me know what you think about what the VP said. Did the UPND promise us? Because if, 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 it cannot be two things. It is, it is either you promised or you lied. So let me know which one is which. Anyway.